Hi guys, this is Suzanne from Under the Covers and I'm bringing you your weekend highlight this week. Uh, this week I'm going to recommend you something a little bit different um, than normal. One, because the book has been out for a while, it's been out since 2007, 2008, so you might not necessarily have come across it. Um, and secondly, um, it's not strictly romance, so although there is a huge romance element within the book, uh, it's probably not classified as romance anyway that you'll see. So I won't keep you in suspense any longer. The book that I'm recommending to you is Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen and here's the cover. You'll probably find it has a different cover when you if you look it up. Um, I feel like I said I've had this book since its first release in 2007 so um, I know there are a few different covers out there all of which are very beautiful by the way. Um, so I think Sarah Addison Allen does well as her covers. Um, I am a big fan of hers, and but this book's a bit special to me because it's the first one of hers that I ever read and it kind of hooked me in and I immediately tried to look for all of her other books. So I also recently got Francesca to give it a read and she loved it as well. So you have two recommendations there for this book from Under the Covers. Um, so this book is about two sisters Um, they never really got on and one of them kind of left town as soon as she could. And this is a story of her coming back after she's kind of escaping an abusive relationship with her young daughter. And she's coming back to her hometown um, to kind of recover and find herself again. Uh, what she finds instead kind of is her sister and it's about them building their relationship up. Um, so it's kind of more around that relationship, although there is romance in there for both the sisters and it's kind of very important to the story. So um, if you want a romance, but you want so maybe something a little bit different and this is definitely the book to pick up but like I said it isn't classified as romance I would classify it as magical realism now I probably couldn't give you a definition of that genre without having to like google it first but what I mean in this book when I say magical realism is that Sarah Addison Allen weaves magic through like the everyday um so the house has an opinion um and it makes itself known in various ways um and the garden the garden is very important in this book as you can imagine it being called garden spells um so the waverlies have a history in in this in this world i suppose um of their garden having magical properties and what it is that they have an old apple tree in the back and it said that if you eat one of the apples from the apple tree then the greatest event of your life will be shown to you um this could be <coughs> sorry excuse me this could be good or it could be bad um but either way it's kind of the duty of the waver is to guard the tree so that no one can eat the apples um because it can change your life if you see the greatest thing or the worst thing that will ever happen to you it will change your life um so that's kind of their heritage and that kind of magic is kind of Im Im imbued with the whole book. It kind of is weaved throughout all the pages. So you have this very special atmosphere within the book. Um, and it, like I said, it's one, it's a book that I have read repeatedly um, since I first got it. And I highly re recommend that you give this book a go. So yeah, this week I am recommending Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen. It's a very special book and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And we are giving you a chance to win a copy of this book. So please enter below into our giveaway. Anyway, have a great weekend and I hope you enjoy the book.